The MSI Pro Z690A was the surprisingly great motherboard from the last generation, which reminded me what happiness feels like. And now MSI are out to do it again with the MSI Pro Z790A, which at $270 is one of the cheaper Z790 motherboards you can buy right now, and almost on par with the Eurus Elite, which we also recently covered. So how good is it? Well, starting off with CPU power, here you already see our first victory over its last gen predecessor. Seeing how we upgraded to a 16 plus 1 plus 1 power arrangement rated at a maximum of 80 amps. So a small but incremental upgrade from the 14 plus 1 plus 1 power phases on the Z690A. This kind of combination even rivals the likes of Gigabyte who've been always putting some of the best power delivery on their motherboards and this is going to provide more than enough power for all your CPUs, even a 3900K. But power delivery is boring, it's for nerds. Let's talk about PC expansion instead because here you have a primary PC Gen 5 slot, two additional 16x slots and even a 1x slot. Oh look Gigabyte, people still do put 1x slots on their motherboards, so why don't you? Is it getting older I complain about Gigabyte's PC expansion like in every single video? No? Okay, then I'll continue doing it until the day I die. And because of the technical marvel that the C790 chipset is, even that secondary 16x slot now operates at Gen 4 speeds, even if it's still only 4 lanes. And also speaking of upgrades, the 4 M.2 slots are still here, but now they all also operate at Gen 4 speeds, so you have plenty of fast expansion options there ready for you. So something tells me that a lot of people who are going to buy a more budget board like this one aren't going to put in 4 and not 2s in it, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below because hey, what do I know? I'm just a tech YouTuber, it's only my job, you know? And finally moving on to rear IO, here things are also pretty good with 7 USB Type A in total with just 2 of them being Gen 2, one for your mouse and one for your keyboard. Now naturally, if you are a USB Type A Uber R-less kind of person, then Gigabyte is still your best friend, but seeing how their current gen budget offering, the Z790 Aries Elite, only has 9 USB Type A, this thing ain't far behind. And if you really need 9 or more USB Type A on your motherboard, then don't worry. There is help available out there. And the rest of the rear IO is also pretty great, with a lightning fast 20 gig USB Type C port, 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi Fi 6E integrated display port, and HDMI, and a full buffet of audio options with 5 audio jacks and optical SPDIF. However, there's of course one massive oversight when it comes to the rear IO. There's actually a feature missing on here compared to the last gen Z690, and that's the fact that this motherboard has lost its PS2 port. Ladies and gentlemen, this is such a dark day for the PC industry because we just lost such a great friend that was PS2. He was there for us through thick and thin, through all the driver issues that we had with USB. He was always there for us and he'll be remembered very, very fondly. Okay, I'm over it. Let's do a recap. Overall, this is a pretty fantastic budget option for Z790 and it's still one of the most budget Z790 boards. Though seeing how you can get its predecessor for as little as $190 now, at the same time, does this mobile board truly do enough differently to be worth it? Now that's not just an issue with this mobile board, that's kind of an issue with Z790 in general, but if you can get its already fantastic predecessor for a lot less, why would you get this? Unless you really need the improved power delivery, PC expansion, and of course the improved looks, because wow does this mobile board look good, then yeah, totally, go for it. But other than that, I would probably just stay with Z690, because at least then, you have access to the PS2 port. But if you want to buy this mobile board, make sure to use the Amazon links down in the video description below. And hey, while you're still here, why don't also check out our Patreon, it's going to be down in the video description below as well, because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing Patreons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Elavroniak, Bardash Welcome, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much for support, truly goes a long way. Down here you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.